二零二五年一月八日，全球 AI 产业领导者 NVIDIA 的创办人兼执行长黄仁勋，在美国最大的国际消费电子展 CES 发表了一场令人瞩目的主题演讲。这场长达一点五小时的演讲，涵盖了 NVIDIA 的最新产品、未来计划以及对 AI 产业的展望。本期影片为你精选浓缩十二分钟精华，没有艰深的技术语言，专注于与一般大众密切相关的重点。片尾还有二零一六年黄仁勋与特斯拉执行长马斯克与 ChatGPT 团队在 OpenAI 总部的珍贵画面，让我们开始吧。GeForce enabled AI to reach the masses. Let me show you some of it now. That was real-time computer graphics. Everyone, today we're announcing our next generation, the RTX Blackwell family. Our brand new GeForce RTX 50 series. Blackwell architecture. The GPU is just a beast. Three times higher than the last generation Ada. This is RTX 4090. It's $1,599. It is one of the best investments you could possibly make. Well, now with the Blackwell family, RTX 5070, 4090 performance at 549. And here's the whole family, starting from 5070. All the way up to 5090, 5090, twice the performance of a 4090. But we managed to put these in, in gigantic performance GPUs into a laptop. This is a 5070 laptop for 1299. This 5070 laptop has a 4090 performance. You get this incredible graphics card here, Blackwell. We're going to shrink it and put it, in, put it in there. The future of computer graphics. Is neural rendering the fusion of artificial intelligence and computer graphics? And、uh, what's really amazing is the family of GPUs we're going to put in here. And so the 5090, the 5090 will fit into a laptop, a thin laptop. You got a 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070. Okay. So Nemo is essentially a digital employee onboarding and training evaluation system. In the future, these AI agents are essentially digital workforce that are working alongside your employees,、um, doing things for you on your behalf. And so, the way that you would、uh, bring these these special agents into your company is to onboard them, just like you onboard an employee. And so, we have different libraries that helps、uh, these AI agents be、uh, trained for the type of you know language in your company. Maybe the vocabulary is. Unique to your company, the business process is different. The way you work is different. So you would give them examples of what the work product should look like, and they would try to generate it. And you would give a feedback, and then you would evaluate them. In a lot of ways, the IT department of every company is going to be the HR department of AI agents in the future. In the future, they will maintain, you know, nurture, onboard, and、uh, improve a whole bunch of digital agents and provision them to the companies to use. AI agents are domain-specific task experts. Let me show you four examples. For the billions of knowledge workers and students, AI research assistant agents ingest complex documents like lectures, journals, financial results, and generate interactive podcasts for easy learning. By combining a UNet regression model with a diffusion model, Cordiff can downscale global weather forecasts down from 25 kilometers to two kilometers. Developers like at Nvidia manage software security AI agents that continuously scan software for vulnerabilities, alerting developers to what action is needed. Virtual lab AI agents help researchers design and screen billions of compounds to find promising drug candidates faster than ever. 
Metropolis agents analyze content from the billions of cameras generating 100,000 petabytes of video per day. They enable interactive search, summarization, and automated reporting, and help monitor traffic flows, flagging congestion or danger. In industrial facilities, they monitor processes and generate recommendations or improvement. The age of agentic AI is here. As we would like to have in the future, your AI basically become your AI assistant. And so if we could figure out a way to make Windows PC a world-class AI PC, um, it would be completely awesome. And it turns out the answer is Windows. It's Windows WSL2. So long as the computer fits it, so long as you can fit that model, and we're going to have many models that, that fit, whether it's vision models or language models or speech models or these animation human, digital human models, all kinds of different, different types of models are going to be perfect for your PC. And it would, you download it and it should just run. And so our focus is to turn Windows WSL2, Windows PC, into a target first class platform. And so this is an incredible thing for engineers and developers everywhere. Let, let me show you something that we can do with that. Generative AI synthesizes amazing images from simple text prompts. Yet image composition can be challenging to control using only words. With NVIDIA NIM microservices, creators can use simple 3D objects to guide AI image generation. Let's see how a concept artist can use this technology to develop the look of a scene. They start by laying out 3D assets created by hand or generated with AI. Then use an image generation NIM to create a visual that adheres to the 3D scene. Add or move objects to refine the composition. Change camera angles to frame the perfect shot. Or reimagine the whole scene with a new prompt. Assisted by generative AI and NVIDIA NIM, an artist can quickly realize their vision. Hundreds of millions of PCs in the world with Windows, and so we could get them ready for AI. Just basically all of the world's leading PC OEMs are gonna get their PCs ready for this stack. And so AI PCs are coming to a home near you. Today we're announcing a very big thing. We're announcing NVIDIA Cosmos, a world foundation model that was created to understand the physical world. And the only way for you to really understand this is to see it. The next frontier of AI is physical AI. Model performance is directly related to data availability, but physical world data is costly to capture, curate, and label. Cosmos models ingest text, image, or video prompts and generate virtual world states as videos. Cosmos Generations prioritize the unique requirements of AV and robotics use cases, like real-world environments, lighting, and object permanence. Developers use Cosmos to generate worlds for reinforcement learning AI feedback to improve policy models. Working with the world's developer ecosystem, NVIDIA is helping advance the next wave of physical AI. The AV revolution has arrived. We're working with just about every major car company around the world. And I'm super, super pleased to announce that today, Toyota and NVIDIA are gonna to partner together to create their next generation AVs. And so this is gonna be a very, lar very large industry. I predict that this will likely be the first multi-trillion dollar robotics industry. Well, today we're announcing our next generation computer for the car is called Thor. This is Thor. This is a robotics computer, it takes sensors, and just a madness amount of sensor information, processes it, umpteen cameras, high resolution, radars, lidars, they're all coming into this chip. And this chip has to process all that sensor and predict the next path. And this AV computer is now in full production. The full chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. And in fact, all of the enabling technologies that I've been talking about is going to make it possible for us in the next several years to see surprising breakthroughs in, in general robotics. 
there are three robots in the world that we can make. These three robots are, one, agentic robots, and agentic AI, because, you know, they're information workers, so long as they could accommodate uh, the computers that we have in our offices, it's going to be great. Number two, self-driving cars, and the reason for that is we spent 100 plus years building roads and cities. And then number three, human or robots. If we have the technology to solve these three, this will be the largest technology industry the world's ever seen. And so we think that the robotics era is just around the corner. And um, well, I have one more thing that I want to show you. DGX1 revolutionized uh, artificial intelligence. The reason why we built it was because we wanted to uh, make it possible for researchers and startups to have an out-of-the-box AI supercomputer. I delivered the first one to a startup company in 2016 called OpenAI. Uh, it revolutionized uh, artificial intelligence and computing. Um, but now artificial intelligence is everywhere. It's everybody who uses computers today as a tool will need an AI supercomputer. And so I just wish that DGX1 was smaller. And um, ladies and gentlemen, our, this is NVIDIA's latest AI supercomputer. And, and it's finally called Project Digits right now. This is an AI supercomputer. All of NVIDIA software runs on this. This sits, well, somewhere, and it's wireless or you know, connected to your computer. It's even a workstation if you like it to be. And you could access it like a cloud supercomputer, and NVIDIA's AI works on it. And um, it's based on a, a super secret chip that we've been working on called GB110. And this is the chip that's inside. This top secret chip, gray CPU, was a, uh, is built for NVIDIA in collaboration with MediaTek. Uh, they're the world's leading SOC company. And they worked with us to build this CPU. And uh, this little thing here is in full production. Uh, we're expecting this computer to uh, be available uh, around May timeframe. All right, so this is what it looks like. Uh, if, you, uh, if you use PC, <laughs> Mac, you know, anything. Because it's a, it's a cloud platform. It's a cloud computing platform that sits on your desk. Um, if you would like to have double digits, this is what it looks like, you know? And you, you connect it together. It's like a supercomputer. Our entire supercomputing stack uh, is available. And so, 2016, Wang Renxun brought the first NVIDIA DGX1 Chat GPT.